for the middle of rain in order to be lips Professor Ali Dr. Bender. Please, I want to ask you about the state of Mr. Chama, Barista, Professor. Where are you? Please come from the day of the weeks. Barista, ask the professor, please come, come closer. And after that, Back now. We are here this afternoon to pay our respects to all of the voices of the media and politicians.
you for this segment of the program. Your will be done that at the end, we shall all have stuff to thank you the more. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Now that we have done that, permit me to in a very special... Honorable Patrick Aguinenda, who is the host, we welcome the ASA North East Chairman, Honorable Austin Okoiwale. We welcome all other local government chairmen, the chairman of Eastern North East. We welcome all Igwebe local government chairmen. Appreciate you. We also welcome the traditional rulers that are here. But permit me, ladies and gentlemen, to go by the names that are with me here. I want to welcome Barista Anslem Ojejwa, the APCC state chairman that is here. Honorable Barrister Anstem Jesua, you are welcome. Can we put our hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen? We also want to welcome the chairman of the Ambrosali University Governing Council. Please permit me, I'm not taking this name in order of protocol, but I just wish to say that we want to announce the name as they get to us. We want to welcome the chairman of the Ambrosali University Governing Council, a distinguished administrator, a man that is very learned, that is accountable and responsible. I want to welcome Dr. Chief Loxin Amokodio, Chairman and Pro Chancellor, Ambrosali University Governing Council. Can we put our hands together for him, sir? You are highly welcome. Also on ground here is the Vice Chancellor of the another anointed university, the Digital Vice Chancellor of Ambrose Ali University. You were in the church today when the priest acknowledged the stride development that the Ambrose Ali University Vice Chancellor has made in structural development, intellectual development, community development. They have been embedded in his own fiction of administration in Ambrose Ali University. Ladies and gentlemen, you will quite agree with me that what is happening today was what he started three years ago at the assumption of the office of the vice chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome a digital vice chancellor, a strong vice chancellor, the man that can take Ambrosali University to the limelight. Permit me to welcome Professor Ignatius Aikahia Onimawu, VCAAU. Can we put our hands together for him, sir? Sir, you are highly welcome. We appreciate your presence. Ladies and gentlemen, I also want to welcome the Vice Chancellor of Adegbo Inga University, Professor Ben Agboka. Professor Ben Agboka, you are welcome. We want to sincerely welcome our mother, the daughter of late Professor Ambrose Falonsho Ali. I want to welcome Chief Mrs. Rosemary Ali Suberu. Mommy, you are highly welcome. We appreciate your presence. Can we put our hands together? She's also a justice of peace. Madam, we welcome you. We also want to welcome Mrs. Magdalene, or her special advisor to the governor, special advisor politica to the assorted states governor, Edo and Sanctra. We appreciate your presence. We also want to welcome Honorable Engineer Richard Edebiri, Commissioner for Agri. We also specially want to welcome Elder G.T. Omofuma. Elder G.T. Omofuma, you are welcome. We want to welcome Isoke Omo, Executive Chairman EDPA. Honorable Patrick Aguinende, Executive Chairman East and West. Uyi Oduwa Malaka, Special Advisor Strategy and Program Management. Honorable Moses Obuko, Commissioner for Water Resources. We also want to welcome Christo Osage, Special Advisor, Media and Communication. Prince Osawe Inegwene Esquire, we also welcome you. I also want to welcome the royal fathers that are here this afternoon. The Royal Highness Zaki Ehizoja Algeria, the owner of Igwebe. His Royal Highness, Barrister Azak Ojefo, the tall, the Onoje of Ehu. His Royal Highness, Zaki Adonoje II, the Onoje of Urumi. 
His Royal Highness Zaki Onweko Okpepe, the Okpepe of Onweko of Okpepe Kingdom. Zaki S I Obadi, the Onoje of Ugbegu. I also welcome His Royal Highness Ekwenjo of the First JP Onoje of Ewatu. His Royal Highness I Donoje Ehidiame. The honor of Opoji. Zaki Teofilos of Sobase, the honor of Egoru. Zaki Egualona is a JP, honor of Okalu. Dr. Connor David Musa, you are welcome. Honorable Waziri Adokpa, Chairman of the Central, you are welcome. Honorable Austin Okoyori, Chairman of the Sun Northeast, you are welcome. Honorable Felix Moisili, PDP Secretary of the State, you are welcome. Honorable Marcos A. Onobu, Deputy. Speaker at the State House of Assembly, you are welcome. Honorable Vito Emuakagbo, Chairman of the South East Local Government, you are welcome. Comrade Destiny Enabulele, Chairman of the South West Local Government, you are welcome. The Nigeria Bar Association, Bini, we appreciate your presence. Ladies and gentlemen, my list is inexhaustible. May I at this time hand you over to Associate Professor Matthew Izibili to also recognize other personality and tell us other items on the program. Thank you very much, Professor Izibili. Thank you so very much, uh, Dr. Aghe Melu. I can see from this Aziz that uh, the people in charge of the kitchen reports they started submitting the laboratory confirmation to those for whom they are met and i'm aware that uh, my elder brother is in the house honorable barrister asemo jesua i've been told that he's there he is the chairman of this segment of the program abba obokian obokian welcome home so you are the chairman, and uh, I sh wish to seek your permission that we press the pause button for introduction, otherwise we will not move forward. So I wish to call on whoever is in charge of the bowl of cola nut to get it closer to the chairman's table. Why we we quickly take the opening prayers? We take the opening prayers at this moment. So I wish to crave your indulgence. Those of us who are not seriously engaged with feeding, you should please cooperate with us as I say the opening prayer. I am serving now in dual capacity. First, as the moderator and coordinator of the program. And second, now God has given me grace that when I talk to my father, he hears me and he answers. So those who are of that faith with me, you will join me. Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. We thank you for yet another opportunity to be counted among the living. But our human frailty, and we think that sometimes we know so much, but we say we have right to life. That is a fundamental human right. No one has right to life if you have not given such a privilege. We are privileged to be alive today. Thank you for this privilege. And we promise you, Lord, by your grace, we will not abuse this privilege. Thank you for this segment of the program. Your will be done that at the end we shall all have cause to thank you the more. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Now that we have done that, permit me to, in a very special way, recognize the Odeon Wiri of Emaudu in Ekpoma Kingdom. He is no other person than Eda Monday. A Hewame Roman and is ably represented by one of his very right hand men. He is no other than Sir Honorable Comrade Pama Akane. Akane Obokian. Obokian. Thank you very much for coming. And I'm aware that uh, there is going to be a short lecture delivery to be done by one of our brothers, uh, Barrister, Dr. Barrister Austin E. Ainabe. And uh, before that comes up, 
Has the cola not come now? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. where is it? That table there. Can they hear me from there? Okay, if they can, please, they should do what is expected to the cola not. Huh? They, yes, they should do what is expected. Hello. Hello. Breaking of color. Breaking of color, not. Breaking of color, not by Ada Palmer. Ahine. God bless you. All right. That was a very wonderful by the OJ Mado and the breaking of culture is done. All right, I will move straight away to the next item. Dr. Zibili, please. Please, when uh, Professor Austin Agamelo was introducing, there was an omission of uh, a local government chairman. The chairman of Onwan West, my very good friend, my father, my mentor, a tooth by the name Frank Ilaboya, the chairman of Onwan West local government. Doctor, please. Thank you very much. We want to quickly correct an impression. The John Were of Emando is Pa Eyagame Ahikbeme. Please, it's not Pa Igalo. Can we put our hands together for Pa Kikbeme, please? Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Bulu, bulu. Can we put our hands together for him? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we quickly appreciate the presence of our father, Eda G.T. Amonfuma. He is the man in charge of G.T. Tidings, feeding the whole world. Can we put our hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen? I appreciate you. We also want to quickly let you know that Honorable Aguinede is still very much on ground. Dr. Imuse, Colonel Imuse, is also very much on ground. The chairman of Eastern Central, Eastern West, Eastern Northeast, Eastern Southeast, they are also here. We also appreciate every other person that are here to honor our father. I can also see Ahaji Simeon Fuma is also here. I want to book your book here. That is the first female and the only male female chairman that have been made in Eastern Land and in Eastern West. Honorable Chief Mrs. Stella Okoro, former chairman Eastern West local government. Stella Oye! Marcos, oh yeah. That's very good. He's the mother of Marcos Onobu. Can we put our hands together for her, ladies and gentlemen? We appreciate you. I can also see uh, George. George, if father was my classmate, I appreciate every one of you. At this point, I want to give time and the microphone to the chairman of this occasion to just make some declarations. Permit me, our chairman is eating. It says the baby no. George, I've been running a many for. I appreciate you. Uh, Barista Honorable Aslam 
for Jeshua. The father was a teacher. At a time, the father earned a prestigious award of the Upper Kenzua Award in discipline. When he disciplined the upper child for in the primary school for disobedience. And the upper then gave his father an award. Can we put our hands together for Honorable Anselm Ojezwa, Chairman APC Ruling Party at those things? Honorable Anselm Ojezwa, please, can you come to the microphone to say a word or two in honor of this our father and in this ceremony? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, um, Prof. We want to welcome you to this segment of this event and to thank you for your abiding support since morning. We have been in church and while in church it was a very, very, very glorious occasion graced by our royal fathers and uh, other very important personalities. We are here now uh, in form of a reception to cap the event in honor of our past hero. As you can see, public service sometimes has its reward. It may be late in coming, but it will surely come if it is truly selfless. So I welcome you and I pray that uh, we have a very peaceful and sumptuous occasion. And I thank you all for attending. I wish you Johnny Messies as you go back and are done. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you very much. God bless you too. Let me to quickly, in a special way, recognize the entire local government area executive of all progressive Congress. It's a central local government led by Honorable Mike Anakaso, the LGA chairman, that are here, you're welcome. Anakaso, permit me, I may not pronounce that name properly. I'm only doing the work of a panel beater. Uh, once you take your car to a panel beater shop, that car is bound to experience some heating and beating, but at the end, it comes out better. So, refreshment is on. In case that which is being served now has not got into your location, just be calm. It will get there. Just be calm. It will get there. Before this excellency left here, I remember hearing him telling the local government chairman here, who is the chief host, ensure that you feed my people. And I know he will feed them. Huh? Please. If it does not get into where you are, just be calm. You will get your own portion. But in case it keeps passing you and going after where you are seated, hold the person behind and say, what is it? I'm also here because of this program. Yes, because the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence taken by force. So well done. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Shortly, I may hand you over to the Aikure, the Wadada himself, to thrill all with some melodious tunes. But before then, I wish to confirm from the planning committee members if the lecture is still going to hold. If the lecture will be taken, I may create this time now for him to come up while I plead with him very seriously such that uh, he will speak to the paper. Yes, he will speak to the paper. Uh, he said doctor of law and he knows what it means when we say briefing. So I will hand you over now to Dr. Barristal Austin Annabo, who is our guest uh, lecturer today. Uh, Dr. Austin Annabo is the immediate past dean of School of Business Studies, Auchi Polytechnic, Auchi. And by design, he is a son of the soil. Austin is our brother. So I will not be surprised by the time we present his paper, he will interject with our own vernacular. So there are some of us who do not understand the grammar coach. They will understand you better. Austin. Thank you very much. We sincerely appreciate the presence of Barrister and Barrister Agbali, Commissioner Science and Technology. Uh, Barrister Austin, please do justice to the paper. 
The paper is titled The Legendary Professor Ambrose Ali An Exposition of the Ideas He Stood For During His Lifetime. And this being the 30th memorial le lecture delivered by Dr. Baris Augustine Egwavon Ainabo on the 22nd of September 2019 at Emado Community. On the occasion of the celebration of the life and times of late Professor Ambrose Polorusho Ali, the ever living legend. Your Excellency, Queen Nogagasa Obaseki, the Executive Governor of Edo State, Your Excellency, all protocol duly observed. Few days ago, when I was belatedly informed by my community that I will be delivering a, a 30th Professor Ambrose Folorusso Ali Memorial Lecture, I saw the assignment as an onerous task, particularly when the lecture has to be on a giant personality with a touring academic and public service profile. Therefore, this memorial lecture or any other lecture, in my opinion, may not be enough to discuss exhaustively the leadership quality of late Professor Ambrose Polonso Ali. This is why I feel that the assignment to deliver this lecture is certainly an uphill task. As an astute politician, late Professor Ali was the first executive governor of the defunct Bender State between 1979 and 1983. He transited into eternity 30 years ago. On the 22nd of September 1989, though he is no more with us, his laudable legacy has continued and will continue to live with us to the end of time. It is on this note I thank the Almighty God for keeping me alive to undertake this task. I also wish to thank the youth, elders, and the entire community of Emado for this unmerited privilege for considering me worthy among qualified sons and daughters of this community to deliver this memorial lecture. I hereby convey my heartfelt appreciation to Edo State Government, the management of Ambrose Ali University at Puma, and the Emado community for considering it necessary for considering it necessary to recognize the immense contribution of the Professor Ambrose Ali as a city of A Nigerian medical doctor, teacher, and politician who gave national recognition during the Second Republic in Nigeria between 1979 and 1983, came into this world on the 22nd of September 1929 and transited onto eternity on the same 22nd September 1989. He attended Immaculate Concession College, Benin City, St. Patrick's College, Asaba. School of Agriculture, more plantation in Badan, trained as a medical laboratory technologist at the University College in Badan from 1950 to 1953. And studied medicine in the University College in Badan. He went further for further studies in Britain and thereafter worked in hospitals in Britain and Zimbabwe between 1960 and 1962. He returned to Nigeria in 1966 to begin a distinguished career in academics. Late Professor Ambrose F. Ali became Professor of Morbid Anatomy at the Amadou Bello University, Zaria, from 1969 to 1971. And was at the University of Ibadan as a professor from 1971 to 1974. Between 1974 and 1979, he was head of the Department of Pathology at the University of Benin City. Benin, Benin City. He was also a member of the Constituent Assembly who deliberated on the making of the 1979 Constitution between 1979 and 1978 leading to the emergence of the Second Republic in Nigeria. He later became a founding member of the Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, led by late Chief of Bafemi Awolowo, on whose platform he was elected the first executive governor of the then Bender State in July 1979. Late Professor Ambrose Falorusso Ali served as the governor of the state until September 1983. During his tenure as governor, he vigorously and religiously implemented his party's program across the state. 
as the first executive governor of the defunct Daniel State, late Professor Ambrose Ali made his mark and left behind laudable legacies that speak volumes across length and breadth of Edo and Delta states of Nigeria today. He was an astute politician and a visionary leader who was able to deliver dividends of democracy to his people across the state within the four years he spent in the office. The ideas the late Professor Ambrose Ali stood for include but not limited to the following. He stood for peace and did everything possible to ensure peaceful coexistence among the people of the then Bende state. Having been given the mandate to govern the state, Professor Ali accepted challenge of governance with a sense of humility and unprecedented avowed commitment in making the difference in the lives of the people. As a man who loved and cherished peace, he ensured there was peace and security throughout the state. Let Professor Ali believe in serving the people and adding value to lives. He therefore devoted his public service life to the service of humanity. This note that was in line with the admonition of Abad Hilton, who was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921, that, and I quote, Only a life lived in the service of others is worth living. Thus, the late professor made adding value to life to be part of him in his lifetime, as he firmly believed and practiced what John Maxwell once said, and I quote, When you add value to life, you lift them up, help them to advance, make them part of something bigger than themselves, and assist them in becoming who they were made to be. Thus, when God gave Professor Ambrose Falonuso Ali the opportunity to serve as the state governor, he did not use the position to amass personal wealth or gain personal fame like the modern day politicians and leaders. In the aspect of providing social amenities to the people, late Professor Ambrose Ali made a mark and left an indelible foot print on the sand of time. Dr. F. E. Ulifu has this to say about the achievements of late Professor Ambrose F. Ali in his regard, and I quote, in the area of provision of social amenities is yet unsurpassed. Intercity roads, streets, and lanes where that portable water flowed everywhere, light was provided to the heater lands either on the Nepal grid or through the rural electricity organ. Health care delivery services were made available to the, for the asking hospital and designated center. Transport system increased and were subsidized. Certainly, Governor Ali's era saw the initial signs of global economic recession. Yet he was unruffled. He was a visionary and achiever. As a ruler, he knew his right and had to fight for it. Even when the right was deliberately denied. Okay, let me... Well, uh, this, in uh, rounding up the achievement of this selfless person, Dr. F. E. Lufu has this to say. In all that he did, Governor Ali had only one house located in his village, Jemado Ekoma, and one old Mercedes Benz car. No more. He served the people. He was selfless public officer for whom honesty and accountability where his word was. In life, Governor Ali was great. At death, his word was sung. As long, I mean, he will remain as the politician of Prosuko to every hope. What lesson are we learning, uh, our present leader learning from this today? How will the people, particularly the, peop the poor masses, you are supposed to be investing on, carry on after you are gone? Today, once a person is given opportunity, to which he or she selected or appointed, such a person no longer sees it as holding the people's mandate. We must learn that we are holding the people's mandate. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that this lecture is grossly inadequate to exalt the profile of the colossus that late Professor Ambrose Ali, Poloruso, Professor Ambrose Ali was. He meant different things to different people. The only common ground that we all can find in, this in the personality of Professor 
Ambrose Ali is that he was a man of character, a man of uncommon sagacity, a populist, a man who was kind to his people, a man who had passion for education for all, an accomplished, worthy public servant, a man who made the emancipation of the common man the focal point of his governance, and a man who gave governance a meaning in the life of his people. A man of this caliber, though no longer with us, deserves our accolades because of his good work so that other leaders and politicians can emulate his enduring legacy. Let me, at this juncture, on behalf of my community, Emado Ekoma, the community that is ever proud to have produced the first executive governor of the Fond Bender State in the person of the Fond Bender State in the person of late Professor Ambrose Poloroso Ali. Welcome, Your Excellency, the Governor of Edo State, Sagodu in the of Basaki, to the community. We thank you for the good work you are doing in those states. No wonder they call you digital governor. As a digital governor, we see how you are fast transforming those states from a civil service state to an industrial state. We are happy that as a silent performer, you are building on the solid foundation laid by late Professor Ambrose Polonso Ali, the late Brigadier Sam Bosak, Babu Bermudia, and Comrade Adam Shomali. We pray for more strength and vigor as you continue to give governance in those states Evening. I also want to recognize the presence of the Vice Chancellor of this great university founded by Ali and to say that the community is grateful to you for the developmental strides you have made in that school. We pray that God will continue to sustain you and make you to work and uh, position the university in a good state, in Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you sincerely for listening. May I respectfully invite to the microphone now the chairman of the occasion, Honorable Barrister Ansem Jesua. Kindly stand forward here and help us make this presentation to one of the awardees. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As it comes forward, the first recipient of the award prepared by the organizers of this program is no other person than my old vice chancellor, Professor Ignatius Onimawo, award of excellence presented to you for your exemplary services to humanity. Courtesy of Professor Ambrose Ali Memorial Planning Committee, Dr. Barristal Austin Ainabo, our guest lecturer today. Congratulations to. It is my honor to present this award to you on behalf of the Ambrose Ali Planning Committee. Congratulations. Okay. May I respectfully invite uh, Chief Mrs. Uh, Rosemary Ali Siberu, please come forward here and join my elder brother in this presentation. You will do this one for us. An award of excellence presented to Professor Joseph Osaje for your exemplary services to humanity, courtesy of Professor Ambrose Ali Memorial Planning Committee. Is Professor Saji here? Okay, can somebody? Is here? Osaji Akbon. And I fear don't. Uh -huh. Mama, you will hand it over to him. On behalf of uh, Professor Lee, family, the state government, and the planning committee, I want to hand over this gift in commemoration of the memorial service of the late Professor Ambrose Colon. You use it to the glory of God. Continue my prayer. Thank you, Mama. 
The next person is uh, one of our own, Honorable Monday Ehiralua, the immediate past rep of this constituency in the exalted and hallowed chamber of Edo State House of Assembly. I decided to funkify his name a year ago. We no longer address him as Honorable Monday, but we call him Honorable Mon. My Honorable, it is my pleasure to present this uh, award in recognition of your selfless service to this community. Congratulations. Next on our lineup of the awardees is uh, no me personality than our son, Professor Sylvester O. Ahane, for his exemplary services to humanity that have been so recognized by the planning committee and the state government that earned him this award. Who is standing in for Professor Ahane? You're welcome, sir. He's here. My pleasure to present this award in recognition of uh, Prof's uh, contribution to humanity. Congratulations. To also receive an award is Honorable Engineer Gideon Owaha for your exemplary services to humanity. Somebody is standing for him? Okay. My pleasure to present this award to Honorable Gideon Owaka for his um, exemplary services to community. Congratulations. The next on our list is Chief Patrick Agbato, or his rep, to please step forward and collect this award on behalf of the planning committee of this program for his exemplary services and contribution to the development of this community and the state at large. You are standing for him? My pleasure to present this award for Chief Patrick Agbato for his uh, exemplary contribution to humanity. Congrats. That Chief Patrol is the very man in charge of choosing hotels in this town. We thank God for his life. Also to step forward now is Ed Monday, Ed De Homo. Ed Monday, Ed De Homo. Would you please step forward for your award? Somebody is standing for him, okay? Kindly ask this uh, award on behalf of the planning committee of Professor Ambrose Alice and the community for his exemplary contributions to humanity. Thank you very much, sir. We shall be done shortly. The next on my list is Comrade Adirance Alboite. Comrade Alboite is one of those very vibrant youths that have been walking around the club behind the scene to making sure that this program Come the way it has come. Congratulations. It is my singular honor and pl uh, pleasure to present this award to you in recognition of your selfless service. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. Before the chairman takes his seat, my award is handshake with the chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>